Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have the square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 2 and we're going to write this in a simpler way. I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first one. So for the first method I'm going to set this expression equal to a minus b root 2, where a and b are rational numbers. So, square both sides. On the right hand side we get a squared plus 2b squared minus 2ab root 2, if you expand x minus y quantity squared. And then, comparing the right hand side and the left hand side, we can safely say that this needs to equal 3 halves, and this needs to equal 1. Okay, since they both have the minus sign, I can just set it equal to positive 1. And from here we get a system of equations. a squared plus 2b squared equals 3 halves, and ab equals 1 half. All right? Now we can go to square both sides here. a squared b squared gives us 1 fourth. And now this is actually a system in two variables and we can turn this into a quadratic equation. How? We can basically isolate a squared from the first equation, write it as 3 halves minus 2b squared and then we can go ahead and plug it in here. That gives us b squared times 3 halves minus 2b squared equals 1 fourth. And then we can set b squared equal to c, something like that, and then write this as 3 over 2c minus 2c squared equals 1 fourth. And then if you multiply both sides by 4, we get 6c minus 4. Actually, that's supposed to be an 8 when we multiply by 4. So that's going to be 8c squared equals 1. And then 8c squared minus 6c plus 1 equals 1. Zero. And from here we can find the C values, set it equal to B squared, find the B values, and then the A values, and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and do it. If you solve this equation, you get C equals negative B, plus minus the square root of B squared, which is 36, minus 4AC, which is 32, and divide by 2A, which is 16. 36 minus 32 is 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes C equals 6 plus minus 2 divided by 16 and that is 8 over 16 or 4 over 16. So it's either 1 half or 1 fourth. But remember, we're looking for rational numbers, and b squared is equal to c, so these are b squared values, and the only one that gives us the rational values is b squared equals 1 fourth. And I also want a and b to be positive, because notice that I took care of the minus sign here, so a and b can both be positive in this case, and so I'm going to go with b equals 1 half. Remember, a times b is also 1 half, so a, b is 1 half, and b is 1 half. This means a is equal to 1. So I got a equals 1, b equals 1 half as my a and b values, and remember our expression, we were able to write it as a minus b root 2. Since a is 1, this becomes 1 minus 1 half times root 2, or if you want, you can write it as 1 minus root 2 over 2 as our final answer. All right, so that's the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, let me rewrite the original problem. I'm trying to simplify this radical, and I'm going to do the following. For the second method, I want to make a common denominator first, so write it as 3 minus 2 root 2 over 2, and then separate the numerator and the denominator, so I can write it as square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by square root of 2. Awesome. Now what about the numerator? So the numerator is a special expression because 3 minus 2 root 2 can be written as 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2 under the radical and the bottom still stays the same. And now notice that we have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So the numerator inside the radical can be written as square root of 2 minus 1 quantity squared. Because that's what it is, right? And then you can square root it and divide by square root of 2. 
Square root of 2 minus 1 is positive, so the square root and square cancel out, and we end up with square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2, which can be written as 1 minus 1 over square root of 2. But if you want, you can also write it as 1 minus root 2 over 2 as before. Make sense? So this is what we did. We made a common denominator and then separated the numerator and the denominator. And now this part is kind of easy to simplify. In other words, if you square root 2 minus 1, you get 2 plus 1 minus 2 root 2, which is 3 minus 2 root 2. That's how we proceeded with the square root or square. Okay? So we got the same answer, which shouldn't be surprising, of course, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at our third method. Okay. So here's the third method. Again, our expression is square root of 3 halves minus root 2. And to simplify this, I'm going to think about the conjugate of this expression, right? What is the conjugate? Well, the conjugate is basically you just change the sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following. I'm going to go add these two conjugates and set it equal to x. Let's go ahead and square both sides and find the value of x. So if you square both sides here, you get from uh, the square of a sum on the left-hand side, 3 halves minus root 2 plus 3 halves plus root 2 plus 2ab plus 2 times the square root of 9 fourths minus 2. And that is equal to x squared. Root 2 cancels out. 3 halves plus 3 halves is 3. 9 fourth minus 2 is 1 fourth. And the square root of 1 fourth is 1 half. And 2 times 1 half is 1. So this becomes 1. So we got 3 plus 1 equals x squared. x squared equals 4. But notice that x is a positive quantity. So x must be 2 from here. So I got the value of x. Cool. Now I'm going to think about the minus version of the same expression. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this time I'm going to write square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 plus root 2. And I'm going to set it equal to y. But in this case, notice that uh, the first term is less than the second term. So y is negative, right? This expression right here is less than this one. So we're going to square both sides, but we're going to go with the negative solution. All right? That's an important detail. Square both sides, and you're going to get 3 over 2 minus root 2 plus 3 over 2 plus root 2 minus 2ab, 2 times square root of 1 fourth again. Remember, we got that before, so same thing. This becomes 1. These two cancel out again, and this time we get 3 minus 1 instead of 3 plus 1. So you could safely say that, hey, um, it's a conjugate, right? So you get y squared equals 2 y equals root 2 or y equals negative root 2. But remember what I said about y. y must be less than 0. So we have to go with negative square root of 2. So let's go ahead and put it together. We got x equals 2 and y equals negative square root of 2. But what is x and y, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at those values. So x is the following. Square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 plus root 2. That was the value of x, which became 2. And then the other one is the square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2. And that became y, and that is negative root 2. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and make some room here because I'm going to carry this stuff a little up, and that way I can do it without uh, going into those, you know, white pages. Okay, I still want to stay on the dark mode. So let's go ahead and do the following. Take this over here and bring it like somewhere here. Okay, here we go. That's good. And now we can go ahead and solve this system. And what am I looking for? Remember, I'm looking for square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2, right? That's what I'm looking for. And if you add these two equations up, these two terms are going to cancel out because they're opposites. So I'm going to get 2 times the square root of 3 over 2 minus root 2, which is what I want, equals 2 minus root 2. Divide both sides by 2, and you got the answer, right? And if you simplify this a little bit, you're going to get 1 minus root 2 over 2 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.